everyone this is Miss T with Latana.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about setting up your color spaces or what's called color profiles and setting those up in Corel Draw or uh, Photoshop, Illustrator I believe they also have uh, color profiles. Now normally when when you're printing something from your computer the colors that we see uh, on the computer and the way that it's set to print is to print that out um, for paper printing. So what we need to do when we're printing certain images, uh, things like when we're getting ready to do our process prints, we need to change our color profiles. Another uh, example of a time when you would change your color profiles would be, for example, printing uh, dye sublimation. So I'm going to show you how to go in in Corel Draw and change your color profiles. Um, you can also uh, bump up color profiles by using tone curves and brightness and things like that, desaturation. But I'm going to show you how to go in and do it and save those settings so that when you need to use those color profiles you're able to do so and uh, it's you've got to be very careful when you start uh, messing with color profiles okay guys so keep that in mind so to change our color profiles in Corel Draw you're going to go to your top menu bar under tools color management you'll have two different selections default settings and document settings. Default settings is just whatever you want is just you know default what you use all of the time. Document settings it refers to how you're bringing in an image how that image is going to open up when you bring a particular image into Corel Draw. Most JPEGs and things like that they don't have um, they don't have uh, any um, color profiles assigned to them, so it'll pop. You'll get a pop up and say that it's missing a color profile. That's fine for just normal stuff. But once you get ready to print, you need to be able to uh, go in. I'm gonna show you. So normally, when you get Corel Draw, I believe it'll look something like this. Uh, these are normal color settings and color profiles. Uh, if you're in North America, which I am, your color profile will be North America General Purpose. That is um, North American General Purpose. That's for paper printing and what your friend's computer will look like if you send them an image that you've done in a certain color profile. So you've got to be careful when you're sending color profiles to different people. Uh, designs that you've created with different color profiles to different people because unless they have that same uh, color profile setting they're not going to see the same thing that you're seeing on your computer so I'm going to show you how to go in and do that change these settings um, like I said for standard everyday things you can you can leave the color settings as they are however for example if you were um, if you wanted to bring in in Corel Draw, if we bring in a photograph of, let's say, I took a picture of me and I wanted to screen print it and I wanted to use a CMYK process uh, to print it, the channels mainly and mainly it would be the yellow and the magenta channels. Those two channels would be very very saturated and would just turn to mud when we went in to print it so what we do we go in and we um, need to accommodate for that by setting color profiles so when you're setting up your color profiles let's go through default RGB this is your default um, the best color profile, in my opinion, uh, from going through all of the different ones here in the space would be R Apple RGB. Apple RGB will give you a very 
clear, sharp color profile. But also remember that when you're working with RGB items and your RGB is for going from computer to computer, if that other computer does not have Apple RGB set up, there may be a shift in color. Well, not maybe, there will be a shift in color. So let's go in uh, Apple RGB for RGB colors. For printing simulation process, you need to import an ICC uh, profile. This is for web coded. This would be for paper printing. If I was doing business cards or something like that, that would be okay. Okay, so you've got these different uh, set um, CMYK print settings that come in uh, with the computer. None of these are basically anything that you need. So you're going to have to load your own CMYK settings and that's going to be something that you're going to get from your ink distributor. Now Union Ink, Union and Rutland, basically the same company, they have color profiles but the color profiles that they have and they've created those are for use with Photoshop and you cannot load them into um, into Corel to adjust the color profile so that you can have the correct profile to print. So the one that I found, I know that Wheelflex has one now and I can't find that one uh, right off but Ryanet Corp Ryanet has a color profile that they went in and they did uh, create it to match the color profiles in Adobe Photoshop and I've used that for a couple of years now and it works pretty good. Um, not pretty good, it works very well. Uh, it's made to work with uh, the Ryanet uh, IC uh, Pro Bright uh, inks but you can use it with uh, your regular standard um, colors so for uh, process inks I've used it with the with the Union inks and haven't had any type of problems so um, I'm sure that it works better with the Pro Bright but you can go in and you can load that up now I'm going to show you how to load it so if you're here you would go to load color profiles you would find the color profile and just click open and that would load the color profile um, to find that Ryanet um, uh, color profile I would suggest that you go to uh, the Ryanet website uh, to screen printing I believe it's screenprinting.com go to screenprinting.com and see if you can find that that uh, color profile uh, on his site and if you can't get your hands on it then um, leave me a comment or shoot me an email and I will uh, try to get that for you what I can do I'll actually I'll go in and if you're a member of the t-shirt screen printers group uh, private group on on uh, Facebook it's t-shirt screen printers it's a private uh, Facebook group uh, I will upload the color profile into the file menu there and you can go in and you can get that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go in and set that color profile um, so my color profile would be da -da 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 -da. where is it at Ryan it okay so let's set that color profile. Now on my deep on my dot gain, um, I do 20% dot gain. Your primary color mode for CMYK, of course, uh, it could be CMYK or it could be RGB for what you're normally looking at. Now when you go into relative color metric, um, you can pretty much basically leave that alone. Um, I prefer absolute. Um, it's pretty much up to you uh, whether you want to use absolute uh, and then you've got perceptual uh, but you can go online research these and figure out which one that uh, you would want most people just leave it as relative on your color engine these are the different color engines that you have 
I use the uh, Microsoft WCS. Um, it's set by default here with this color engine and you can again go in do your research on that and decide which color engine that you want to use we're going to leave preserve black off but we're going to leave map gray to cmyk which is going to push that gray channel into that cmyk uh, and make up those so we're going to leave that alone and then you've got lab values over under color management properties this is how you will open up a document when you go in you open up a document you've got rgb mode which is use embedded color profile okay which if you look down here it says choose the color management property that is used for grayscale da -da 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 -da. when you open up the da, da let's see here we go so what we want to do is i'm going to hit convert if you convert to default color profile that will take whatever document you open bypass the color profile that it comes with and open it up in your default uh, RGB color palette okay for default RGB which would be Apple if you hit assign the color profile it will choose the color management properties for CMYK when you open it up okay so what I want to do is I'm going to have a sign because I want my photograph and etc everything to open up in RGB mode and then I will manually convert that bitmap over to CMYK once I am ready to print it and color separate it, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to just change all of this. This will warn me on mismatch or missing color profile. So I'm going to click, um, you can have, when if it's missing a color profile, I don't need that. But I do want the software to warn me if a color profile is a, mis a mismatch, a mix match. That way I can decide if I want to use this Apple RGB or if I want to use... Um, the color profile that it came with so that's what that does the same thing here says the same thing and I'm gonna go assign versus uh, convert on import and paste this is when I'm importing a file how do I want that file to open up when I import it so the same thing and I'm just gonna click OK now if I want to save these color profiles I would go here click Save Say, give it a name. Um, for me, this one would be, let's say, um, uh, CMYK process printing. And that would be uh, the color profile that I have set for that. And I actually have that color profile here for what I have, the way that I have it set. And I need to go in and change this. But I've got uh, my color profile set for that. So when I'm doing or color process only I will go in and manually change this setting um, I will change the document setting to for color process when I'm printing just everyday standard stuff if I'm printing for paper I can leave my North American uh, general purpose on and that would be what I would use normally if I'm doing a uh, spot color and things like that um, I normally have simulated uh, simulated uh, color management off and this will just turn all of that off um, you can also go in and if you want it RGB Apple RGB to be your um, your everyday settings go in switch that change that and just save it as you know uh, general settings but that's how you add a uh, a how you set up your color management settings in Corel this is going to help you once you get to go in and start doing uh, your CMYK printing 
and that will be covered in another video uh, while we set up these settings but it's very very important for you to have these settings and if you don't um, your prints are not going to come out right when you're doing your process prints also you may um, when you're printing uh, you can other things that you would use this for is like I said earlier if you're doing dye sublimation I believe that uh, Condi Systems I believe they have a um, color profile setting for their sublimation inks and things like that so that's what you would use that for um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything about any of this uh, you know inbox me uh, comment leave leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back with you and uh, try to help you uh, in any way that I can. I'm not an expert on this, but um, been dealing with color management settings for a little while now. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.